Hi guys, the last time I showed you the the Seebeck effect uh, being observed in a in a Pel in a Peltier device. Um, this time I'm going to show you the the very same Peltier device um, being used to demonstrate the Peltier effect itself. So basically, what I have here is an apparatus where the Peltier device is. Um, is, is uh, attached to a heatsink and, uh, and to a fan. So basically, um, this time we, I am going to apply a current across the Peltier device and uh, that way we are going to be able to observe the um, normal use of the Peltier device, which is for cooling things. Um, the 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 heatsink is uh, is basically uh, a, re, um, a conventional heatsink from a PC computer, uh, which normally these the, the heatsink that I have in particular, it's capable of um, of dissipating uh, over a hundred watts. This particular Peltier device actually dissipates sixty watts, so we shouldn't have a very um, large accumulation of heat um, on, on, the, on the Peltier device. That is a particularly important detail because Peltier devices um, are only capable of, um, of creating up to a certain difference in temperature. So if, if the temperature on the hot side is, is, um, is not uh, low enough, you are never going to attain the target temperature on the cool side. <clears throat> so it is fundamental that the heat that build, builds up on the hot side is, uh, is properly dissipated on, on the heat sink. So a very efficient uh, cooling system is required to, um, to eliminate the, the excess temperature. Um, at first we may think of the Peltier device by looking at it being so fast and um, uh, at at uh, generating uh, a cold temperature on, on one of the surfaces, we may think that it's really efficient, but that's not the case. Actually, a Peltier device is only five percent efficient, um, which means that ninety-five percent of the energy we are putting into the device is being dissipated as heat. Um, for instance, other devices like uh, a refrigerator, um, even though they have moving parts and everything, uh, actually are more efficient at the, the job of, of um, moving uh, heat from one, one, one uh, surface to another than a Peltier device is. However, the advantage of a Peltier device is its simplicity, reliability, uh, lack of moving parts, uh, and, uh, and size. Okay, next I'm going to demonstrate you the Peltier device in action. So this is the setup. Um, on the left side we have the Peltier device and uh, the heatsink. I have added some spacers so that the, the, the fan can be at a certain uh, distance from the, from the table so that the air can flow. If I measure the the temperature here is at about minus 10.3, 10.4. Um, and the hot side on the, on the heatsink, it's at 26.2 degrees Celsius. In comparison, the, the room temperature is about 24 degrees. So it's not really very hot, which means that it's, it's uh, doing a good job at, um, at uh, dissipating the heat. Okay, the, um, the Peltier device is really doing well. It's really cold. Okay, minus nine. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Next, I'm going to put the drop of water on the cold side of the Peltier device. Um, and we'll see how, it, um, how fast it freezes the water. Okay, now we are going to add the, the water to the to the top of the Peltier device. Um, I can see that now the temperature is, is more or less the same. 
in both the top and the bottom. It's 25 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm going to turn on again the thing. Turn on the power supply. We can see that initially the voltage, the sorry, the, the current uh, peaks at 4 amps and then it drops quickly to 3.3 amps. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to measure the temperature again. And we already have minus 7, minus 8, minus 10. Yeah, we're at minus 10 degrees Celsius. Um, it's not really visible in the camera, but um, we can see that there's already ice forming on the top of the device, on the, on the surface. I'm going to add a drop of water here. And um, I'm going to add a little bit more, just so that it becomes clearer that the water quickly turns into ice. Okay, pretty much like a few seconds after I put the water, it actually freezes into ice. can actually almost form like um, mountains of, of ice by gradually adding water, drops, droplets of water, which is quite interesting. Now this is really cold. In, uh, It looks like the North Pole, or better, the South Pole, because the North Pole is uh, today is more like just ocean of liquid water. Yeah, it's really very interesting. I'm basically adding layer over layer of of water that quickly turns into ice which is very interesting mm -hmm. um, the current dropped a little bit it's now at 3.2 amps And uh, now it's more visible that everything is, is ice right now. The water that is, that is over the, 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 the band, the plastic band, the, the black plastic band, um, a tie wrap actually, um, because it's not directly in contact with the Peltier, it's, um, it's still liquid. So if I would stay here longer, uh, I'm pretty sure that I, I could really form a, a stalactite sort of construction. It's pretty much totally frozen. I could... I could take... take the, um, the piece of ice out easily. By doing this... Let me try... No, it's very stuck. It's really... Hey, this is snow, look. Amazing. This, this part is still liquid. Um, yeah, it's very difficult. Because it's, it's really glued into the surface tightly. 
glued to the surface you know it's very it's very stiff right now uh, it's pretty difficult to remove uh, I'm not going to try to remove let's see the bottom the temperature in the bottom is uh, is constant it's at 26 degrees so the the heat sink is working pretty well the current is also constant 3.2 amps um, so yeah this is working well okay now I'm going to turn it off and um, after it starts cooling down I'm going to try to remove the um, the ice so, as you can see it's quickly melting it, it really here we have the piece of ice which is almost it's almost fully molten right now okay guys this is what i wanted to demonstrate the the peltier effect in action next time i intend to do some uh, experiments like for example attempting to put two peltier devices operating together i want to do some researching in um, the possibility of tacking uh, Peltier devices, if there's any anything that we can benefit from that, or to even lower temperatures. That's uh, a bit of research that I'm going to try to do, and uh, if I have input from you guys, even better. Uh, so thanks for watching, um, and uh, keep watching my, my videos, and uh, please put a, a like on the video if you, if you like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.